In this video, I'm going to be repairing the link port on the CDJ2000. As we look on the back, we can see that it looks like it's come off the board and I have uh, another socket that I can put on. So we are going to take whatever's left of this off, put a new one on and then we can look to testing it. We have three screws, one under there that you can't see, on the back. And then one, two, three, four, five on the bottom. And then we want to lift the CDJ over this way. And we have the ribbon cable that connects the bottom to the top. And we're interested in this area just here. So I'm just going to remove this ribbon cable. We want to check the ends for any sign of damage. They look good. And if we look at this, we can see that the top section has completely come away from the bottom section. So we need to remove uh, the board out, desolder what's left of this and put this new one in its place. Okay, first of all, I'm just going to remove the audio output board. Then we have the connections that go to the SD card and the USB. And then there's four screws that hold the board in place. And first of all, we'll take the one out that holds the USB support in place. Okay, so we, we can get rid of that anyway. And we can see that underneath is connections that go to the bottom board. So we're gonna to have to take this bottom cover off. So those connections go to here. So we just Leave those side parts out and then that can come out. So now our board will just fall out. So we'll just take these connections off and you can see the arrow on the board that shows that the connections are on the outside of the PCB. So now we need to remove this connector. So I'm going to put some flux on. Excuse the toothbrush. I, I just needed to wedge this up so that you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to touch up those connections. And then use the hot air gun to free that up. There we go. And now we will clean that up. So 
So just a bit of fresh solder on those pads and also on the ground pads. And then we'll clean everything up with the solder braid. Now we'll clean up our flux on the board. Right, so we have our new socket. And I'm not putting any solder on the pads. I want it to be sitting flat on the board before we solder it down. So I'm just going to do one at each end which should keep it in place now I'm going to put some flux on these earth tabs so that we get good contact And that should stop the the board from coming up again. So So they look nice and shiny, should be good joints. And then we can just finish off the last of the pads on the back. So there we have good solder joints on the back, nice and strong solder joints on the ground of the case. So now we'll just uh, clean up. Okay, so that's our replacement socket on there nice and secure. Let's put it back into the CDJ. Okay, so that's powered on. 
So now I'm going to have to set up uh, two CDJs so that we can make sure that the link port works all right. So I will get set up and come back in a second. All right, so I have a, a Nexus and a 2000 um, and they'll both work okay on the link. So we're just going to connect together with an Ethernet cable. I'm going to turn the light off. So. There you go, we can see now. So, player number two, player number four, so USB, link. So the link is working on both of them. And if we just give the link cable a bit of a wiggle, that seems to be all right. So, here we go, we have successfully replaced this damaged link port on this CDJ2000. That repair would be the same for the 2000, 2000 Nexus and 900. Now there is a newer version of the Nexus which has a different type of port which is through hole and also the CDJ900 Nexus is also different and that has a through hole and they're a lot stronger and they don't come off the boards. But on the 2000, the first version of the 2000 Nexus and 900s, and they all have these surface mount link ports which are prone to, be, to being damaged because people just pull the cable up when they pull it out and they don't pull it straight out the back. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.